Hello, I'm Arthur. Welcome to my lab. Today I have a special treat. One of my viewers, Darren Walker, has generously sent me uh, these probes. This is a very nice set of uh, probes for a multimeter. And um, I'm going to compare these with some of my other leads that I have that came with, uh, with my meters. Uh, to do this, I'm going to use my Anang AN8860B meter which has a nice latched um, continuity test input and I'm going to use my Mastec MS8268 meter which is unlatched and we'll see how these two meters react to the probes being used um, and just measuring the uh, connection between the tips of the probes and I'll uh, test some of the probes uh, or test leads that came with my other meters as well as uh, this set of probes again very generously sent to me by Darren Walker so thank you very much Darren I really appreciate uh, you sending me these probes so let's switch these two meters to the continuity mode And let's plug in my first set of probes. These are the probes that came with hold peak meter. So a nice set of probes. I, I like how these angled connectors uh, plug in. The only thing that I don't like about hold peak meter is that these probes have to be really very long because the socket and hold peak is very deep and I mentioned that in my hold peak meter review but other than that you know the, the probes themselves are quite nice they have uh, a decent feel there's a little bit of bending to them but maybe that's a good thing because when you push on, on a circuit you Maybe you don't want to be pushing too hard. I don't know. Uh, might be a matter of personal preference. I, I don't really care much for this band, but maybe maybe some people might like it. Uh, the leads are nice thickness, and they're fairly soft. No problem there. So let's see how these probes behave when I plug them into my latched anning meter and just try the continuity. See, and that's that's where I have a problem with these leads, is that sometimes, see, I'm making a connection. I'm pushing these two tips against each other, and I'm getting open circuit. I don't know what it is with the, with the metal used on these probes, but sometimes they they just don't make a connection, and that's that's ridiculous. But other than that, well, see, I'm I'm like scratching these probes one against the other and sometimes they just don't make a contact so let's see what happens when I plug this into my uh, unlatched Mastec meter see how horrible this sounds is this screechy sound <clears throat> that's just really bad and they, they sometimes barely make contact. I guess maybe if I sanded the surface of these probes maybe that would be better. But um, again, usually you don't really use this part of the probe to test anything, I guess. Well, maybe if you hold resistor against the probe, so yeah, that might be actually an issue. And But even if you probe something like this by touching the tips of the probe, I just wouldn't trust these probes because they don't seem to make a good connection. So, anyway, that's that's my whole peak probes. I do like the the thickness of the wires, though. Um, so now let's try. Uh, these are Victor. So these came with my Victor meter. Let's see how these perform. See, this is nice. No problem making a connection.
and just a light touch is enough so this works fine let's see how they behave on a non-latched input so again really bad screeching that's not something I would trust or I would like to use not the greatest probes uh, but again wires are actually nice nice thickness and they're fairly soft um, I like the the shrouds here other than, other than the, the screechy poor connection on the probes on the tips they are okay now these probes have a really cheap feel to them um, small connectors thin wire still nice bends nicely it's not uh, one of those really tough hard uh, wires but much thinner noticeably thinner than the other two probes but this is not a surprise because these probes came with the with my Anang which is the cheapest meter of of all of them it was only twenty three dollars so what do you expect for twenty three bucks so yeah I think that for for the price these are fairly decent again you you get what you pay for so let's plug those in and see what happens well that's to be expected um, of course with a nice latched input you get nice sound no screeching although sometimes they don't make too good a, a connection a couple of times I did not get a tone but overall especially for the price these are really cheap probes and definitely you know whatever the rating here is I would not trust it uh, it says 10 amp rating um, doesn't really say much more on these but I, I wouldn't trust these probes to do any serious um, high voltage work but I think for the price they are nice and they perform adequately at least the next set of probes is Mastec so these probes came with this meter and again nice thickness actually there's some labeling on the wires I don't know if I would trust whatever the this labeling says uh, but at least on these wires we do have some markings on uh, the other probes I didn't really even notice any any markings let's see the black wire yeah this may be a little easier to read although this is the the other way around sixteen AWG sixteen gauge ah, it feels a little bit thicker even than sixteen one thousand volt rating uh, well anyway let's plug them in nice confident connection no problem whatsoever but again this is a nice latched input on this meter let's try the non-latched again not as good as as the latched input but this may be just a fault of the meters input not not only the probes but I think that this sounds much better than the other probes not not as much screeching but still plenty of it and well nicer probes help but really it's the latched latching input versus non-latched that makes the difference now let's give these puppies a try I'm, a I'm really looking forward to doing this Oh, this feels nice. These these leads are are very nice. Wow, these are the softest leads 
these are like um, um, like in RC models you have these sil silicone uh, leads that's that's what this feels like feels very soft excellent and they're nice and long some of these other probes had uh, especially the Anang one the, the cheapest ones they were shorter than others but this is a nice length um, I'm not going to measure this but I want to say uh, a meter easily so three feet would be my guess and yeah they feel very nice in, in your hand and wow is this oh wow this is fancy I didn't even know so this this shroud here just hides into the uh, plug very nice and I really like this plastic tip here so if there's anything in, in the meter or anywhere where you plug this in if there's anything underneath the socket that you wouldn't want to touch this protects you from that that's very nice so this whole thing is is covered in plastic so if even if you plug in the these probes into your circuit somewhere and leave them connected uh, you're still protected well unless you slide of course this shroud back but other than that you know this protects the the connectors here so even if you unplug your meter and just toss the um, wires on on your workbench you're not going to short out anything that's really fantastic now let's see if they will stay in in my mastic because <laughs> that's one of the problems with my mastic meter is that it has these funky illuminated connectors that tend to push out the probes out of the socket but no these uh, plugs are solid sit tightly in the connector no problem whatsoever okay these probes came with uh, these protective covers and yeah needle sharp as I expected I haven't checked the other probes but I'm pretty sure they won't be as sharp as, as these this is my my cheapest anang again and yeah they're fairly sharp but no nowhere near they don't feel as as sharp as as these new probes and uh, my mastic I think is that what it is yeah mastic so I, I like these the best so far but no nowhere near as sharp and the other ones I'm not going to even bring them into the view well <coughs> let's see these hold peak feels a little bit sharper maybe which I would expect from uh, the probes that came with uh, around $40 meter hopefully so yeah these definitely sharp I could like poke a hole in my finger with these I think there's a thread here so you can probably screw these into something maybe or, or um, get an adapter or something that uh, screws onto these probes there's a little bit of flex to them which again may be a nice thing uh, the feel of the um, this handle here is nice and soft as opposed to this hard plastic of the other probes I mean I, I don't have a problem using these maybe if you have to measure things for hours then your fingers may start hurting from just squeezing this hard plastic whereas these will be much more comfortable because there's a little bit of softness to, to these probes and the the main thing that excites me is that these actually seem to be gold plated they're yellow compared to all other probes which are not so let's see how my unlatched input of, of this mastic meter behaves imagine this this is almost as good as as my latched meter with other probes so even though this input is unlatched
I get almost no screeching compared to uh, my second favorite set of probes here, the Mastec ones. Oh, that's my uh, meter timeout, letting me know that the meter's been on for a little bit long. Hold on, I made a little mess here of my wires and test probes. Old Peak, Mastec, Old Peak, okay. So these are my second favorite now. Uh, they seem to be doing a fairly good job. But listen to this. Now listen to, to these. To me, this is huge difference. This makes this meter actually usable with with these probes. You can you can actually you can actually t use these probes to test continuity, even with this unlatched meter. So, I I love these probes. Really fantastic. I really like you know ev everything about them the softness of a, of the cord the sharpness of the tip the the connectors here with the shrouds these are just fantastic so again Darren thank you so much I really appreciate your generosity these are awesome thanks